Hey everybody, this is Dr. Zar again. Today I want to talk about pH. Not too many dentists check your pH when you go to have an exam, do they? Well, I think that's very important as part of your oral health. The pH in your saliva determines what happens to your teeth. If you're wondering what's pH, that's the acidity in your mouth. When we test your mouth for pH, we hope the results are around 7 because that is neutral. You can be a little bit alkaline, 7.5 to 8, that's fine too. But once you get into the 5s and 4s, that, that's very, very acidic and that damages your teeth. Also, the bacteria that cause cavities are acidic, so you're more prone to getting decay. What causes acidity in the mouth? I would say the number one cause of acidic pH is acid reflux. The acids in your stomach are very strong. And if you have reflux, that brings that into your mouth. Another factor is the foods that you eat. Lemons, citrus foods, oranges, grapefruits, soda. You might have heard that if you drop a truth in a glass of Coca-Cola, it will dissolve over a few months. Next on the list is smoking. Smoking closes the capillaries in your mouth, reduces blood flow, dries your mouth, and definitely contributes to the acidity of your mouth. So. Typically, when I have a patient who's a heavy smoker, I get acidic readings in their mouth. I'm not saying that you should never enjoy uh, fruits, a coffee, and soda, that's fine, but that shouldn't be something that you're doing all day. You should pick your time, choose your food, eat it, enjoy it. Don't brush right away because you're brushing the acids into your teeth. So give it 20 minutes, let your saliva buffer the acid, rinse out your mouth first, after 20 minutes, then you can go on brush. If you're wondering what's the acidity level in your mouth, you simply come in, we'll check your pH, and then we can advise you on what's best for you. Again, I'm Dr. Zar. See you soon.